For more than 50 years, IEA has studied school factors that are related to educational outcomes. One of the most important features of TIMS and PEARLS is the extensive set of contextual data collected by the student, teacher, school, and curriculum questionnaires. The contextual data collected from these 2011 surveys have yielded new scales summarizing information about learning and teaching across mathematics, science, and reading. This can improve our understanding of the various school and classroom factors that are related to achievement. Tim's and Pearl's results underscore the significant role played by a number of school factors in fostering achievement in mathematics, science, or reading, including adequate school resources for teaching these subjects, a school climate for academic success, teacher preparation in content and pedagogy, and engaging classroom instruction. Tim's and Pearl's 2011 show that the students with high achievements attend schools which exhibit the following characteristics. Students with higher achievements attended schools with more affluent student bodies and that did not suffer from resource shortages, having sufficient buildings, space, and staff. Moreover, achievement was higher when teachers reported hardly any problems with overcrowding or inadequate workspace or supplies to conduct lessons. Higher achieving students attend schools that emphasize academic success. That is, these schools establish rigorous curricular goals and have students that desire to do well, parental support, and teachers that understand and are effective in implementing the curriculum. Higher achieving students also attend schools that are safe and orderly, having hardly any problems with disciplinary safety, and where students are almost never bullied. Unfortunately, bullying does have a negative impact on achievement as the frequency of bullying behavior increases, student achievement in reading, mathematics, and science decreases. Student achievement can be positively affected by a well-prepared teaching force. That is, teachers who are well-educated in content and instructional methods, are experienced in teaching, and are satisfied with their careers. Tim's and Pearl's 2011 found that across countries, students who had teachers with at least 10 years of experience had higher achievement in reading at the fourth grade and in mathematics and science at the fourth and eighth grades. In addition, students with teachers who had greater career satisfaction had higher achievement across these subjects. Teachers' instructional skills also play a role in affecting student achievement. Good teaching practice, specifically instruction that engages students, can bring the student and the subject matter together in a way that sparks interest and stimulates learning. Internationally, students who reported being engaged in their lessons had higher mathematics, science, and reading achievement. That is, higher achieving students knew what their teacher expected, had a teacher who was easy to understand, were interested in what the teacher said, and were given interesting things to do. Lastly, the Tims and Pearls 2011 data revealed that within every country, students with more positive attitudes towards learning have higher achievement in mathematics, science, and reading. However, by the eighth grade, attitudes were less positive towards mathematics and science. Specifically, Tim's and Pearl's 2011 found that the following attitudes were related to higher achievement. Liking mathematics, science, and reading. Feeling motivated to read. Feeling confident in mathematics, science, and reading. And at the eighth grade, valuing mathematics and science. For the most part, students around the world are very positive about learning mathematics, science, and reading. However, in an environment where countries are trying to attract students into future mathematics and science-related careers, it is a matter of some concern that by the eighth grade, there is an erosion of positive attitudes towards mathematics learning and instruction. This concludes the presentation of school factors for academic success. The other three presentations address the 2011 Tim's and Pearl's achievement results, the trends in Tim's and Pearl's achievement, and the importance of an early start in education.